Hey Bing Bong, what's up? Uh, Mr. Reactive here. Welcome back to my videos. And hi. Before I started this video, um, I'm gonna show you this cool thingy. It's called the singing ball, okay? Singing ball. And um, it's an ancient thing, okay? And this believed to like remove uh, negative energy or bad spirits, but <laughs> we just got it and I just wanna try. So how do you use this? You go like this. I'm gonna remove your um, negative energy. So you sub. <laughs> no, no. So it goes like this. Yeah, like that. Anyways, yeah, I hope it removes your negative energy. Uh, so yeah, last time or last or yesterday, I've been like trying to do a live stream and my cameras mess me up or it's fucking me up. <laughs> I'm sorry for swearing already. What happened is every time I do live stream, my camera froze, frozen. Like um, it's annoying, right? Uh, imagine you're the one who's doing the live stream and and it happens. It happens a lot. Probably my camera. I wish I can smash it like what I did to my mouse. <laughs> I've been playing Geometry Dash, alright? Um, creator contest update, one more days. I might have work tomorrow, so you guys are lucky. But for that day, please upload the video. Um, for those people who haven't, please. This is my last call. Um, if tomorrow, I'm, after my work, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna put all the videos together and I'm gonna upload it. Anyways, um, today we're gonna do something different, okay? I'm gonna teach you something that I learned. I just learned. FBI, shut the f So today we're gonna talk about the app that I use for streaming and uh, as you can see in the title of the video that's that's the thing. Um, forgive me this is a kind of different video but yeah I'll try my best to teach you what I know. Yeah I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I have to switch in stream loves and um, it's just better okay. OBS. I mean I enjoy using OBS. I, I don't really hate it. I'm just like oh, why is this thing now is pain in the ass? Um, I just need to move on and it's better if you learn those both either you use OBS or Streamlabs, right? Um, for those people who stream you probably know this uh, app or you can use it better than I am That's why I'm raging because I really don't have enough knowledge in this and Yeah, pull over again and again <laughs> Let's open OBS, alright? I'm gonna show you today how, how to set up a stream in OBS. How I set up my stream in OBS. Um, alright, so, so this OBS thing, it really looks complicated, but uh, once you learn it, you're just gonna make fun of it. Mm -mm. Uh, um, as you guys can see in my live stream, if you go look my live stream, right? Um, it's basically what's in there is I'm gonna teach you what I'm gonna put it in here. So, so once you go to OBS, um, the first thing you're gonna notice is everything is blank, right? Everything is just black. Everything is like, oh, what am I gonna do? It looks complicated. I'm one of those people who just like researching and every time I'm trying to learn something, I'm trying to be resourceful, I watch different people with the same video. Let's say, um, write OBS tutorial. Don't just watch one people, right, then believe what he says. You gotta watch a different kind of people who made a video out of it. You always wanna take the advice from the people who you like and do it. So, all right, so how do I do this? Alright, um, you started your own OBS. By the way, what is OBS? OBS is this platform you use in order to stream in um, different social media like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. But yeah, I'm gonna say this thing has uh, has limits, okay? But there's this thing called Streamlabs, which is, I'll say, better. And it's more, if you're a Twitch streamer, I bet you, you'll use it more compared to this. So the thing though, I'm, I'm gonna teach you at least how to set up if you have an OBS, that's cool, alright? Um, we all have different setups, um, this is my own opinion, if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> but if you have an advice, feel free to teach me, alright? I don't know anything about this anyways. Um, I only learned the basic how to like set up a stream. <laughs> In order to start, there's this parts here that you can see the scene part and the source part, right? You have to understand that everything that in the sources is it's in the scenes. Alright, so the way you can understand this is the first step is to create a scene. Okay, I'm call it I'm calling it um, 
bullshit OBS. <laughs> I just wanna call it like that. Once you created the scene, the sources is uh, what's inside the scenes. Let's start with an easy one, right? The first thing you can do is if you have a video, um, a webcam, right? That's the first thing I can do. And it will direct your video there. I don't know why. See, that's a problem with me. It doesn't go... <laughs> Sometimes I have to exit it in order, just order to like use it. Let's see, let's come back. You see my camera is working now. What the hell, right? Imagine... <laughs> come on. You can res the thing is you can resize your video to the point that how how small do you want it, right? Um, there you go. You can play around with it. What, what the hell is that? Payback. You can add another one. Um, as you guys not this, I have I have a uh, background which is this. By the way, this is not originally mine. I just saw it from a YouTuber who's doing OBS tutorial too, and I kind of took it from his his Discord. Forgive me for that. Etc. Oh right, you will also get a free graphics spec. What I learned is uh, something new. Is you can upload your customized picture if you want. Um, just go to the image, right? Okay. Um, browse. You can find any pictures you want. Let's say this by uh, APX your boy. And same thing, just resizing it. It's just like playing with the, um, I don't know. Bro. Also the way it works is like a Adobe Photoshop, okay? You see the layers, you see the layers down here. Sometimes you have to rearrange it in order to just like go in there. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, yeah, there you go. Basically that's what I, that's how I do it, okay? Um, the next thing I do is uh, you can put a text too. Just look in there and click text. All right, you can put Mr. Mr. Bing Bong. Okay, you can resize it. Also, you can go back to the settings by just clicking in itself and select different fonts or I don't know. Let's just go to the basic for now. Then yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Bing Bong. Um, the thing is, is once you have that, is you're kind of good. You're close to the part that how I do my stream, right? Um, the next thing you can do is how do you put the games? Um, I'm gonna teach you this. This is the most common thing you'll everyone will teach you in OBS, anyways. Uh, it's called display capture, but I find it weird. I don't, I don't know. I still don't know. Mamu, I come to bargain. The only thing I know about this is. Once you use this display captures, you can uh, record everything in your computer. Let's say you're playing a game and you want to alt tab to like YouTube, it will record it and it will show it in, um, let's say you're streaming, right? Pretty useful, but for me, um, in my opinion, um, what I do is I don't use display capture. Only sometimes if I want to, let's say I want to show the Discord. Um, the thing I do is, um, where is it? Game capture, right? I go to the game, then you click it in there capture once you have that is you just need to open a game all right let's say open my geometry dash but you can use i think you can use steam too it's over 9000 then i'm gonna alt tab it just go back to obs yeah sometimes you have to go back in a game and go back again in order to just like capture it bruh should I just give up? Yeah, sometimes it's really trial and error. Sometimes it will make your life really, really hard and annoying, but you have to like do this again. Sometimes like, tr you know how to fix a troubleshooting. Sometimes it does that, so I'm gonna click it again. Capture any full tour, then go, just go back to the game. Yeah, that's why usually you're gonna experience from tr troubleshooting. Um, there's so many ways you will troubleshoot to the point that it's so annoying. There you go. Um, I have to move the game capture so you guys can see the camera. And there you go. Once you have that, is once you have that, is you, you, there's your uh, stream setup. But it's not the most ideal stream setup, right? A lot of you can set it up way better than I am, um, probably. But this is just the way I learned it, right? The, the way you see me do it. Okay. There's more things in here before you can start streaming. Okay. This is the most most important things. Go to the settings. Settings is where. <laughs> Setting is really important, okay? In general, just look, that's how I set mine, right? Um, I know some people, some YouTuber will teach you how to set it right. Um, this is really important, okay? You have to like pick which one you're gonna s 
uh, stream, right? Let's say I do in YouTube. Then I use a stream key and uh, every time you're gonna go live, it's always gonna give you the stream key. All you need to do is just paste that stream key in here, re remove it and replace it with a new stream key, then connect, apply and connect. So once you have that, it's just gonna connect there really easy and just start streaming. It will, it will connect to that uh, YouTube, Twitch or whatever and yeah, bing bong, right? Okay. It, at least I'm happy I get to share this. How do I make, how do I do my OBS thingy? Okay. Also, there's more settings in here in output, right? What kind of things you're gonna use? Mm -hmm. um, I would love to like advice is to watch more videos about it too. For me, it's not the old things that you should know. Also, I learned this thing too. Um, I had to learn this new thing too that I wanna show it to you. Um, you can change. You can ad adjust. Um, how how loud the music is but the, in this one it looks confusing i was very sad to see that uh. i'm gonna say goodbye to obs <laughs> um i gonna switch to stream stream labs okay um there's this stream labs in obs which is this stream lab as um think of this way i'll say obs studio is like geometry dash light and Streamlabs is like Geometry Dash full version. <laughs> I mean, there's so many ways you can do with Streamlabs, but if you learn the OBS, it will be really easy for you to access the Streamlabs. Um, why? Because most of the thing there is just like um, the thing in OBS. So I'm gonna open it now. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. As you can see, there's a source and scene button. And uh, I just copy it in there. The thing though in OBS is there's this thing, the alert box. All right, people who are in Twitch, I believe they use it more. And um, there you go, alert box. I can test the widgets. Why? There you go, Mr. <laughs> Active just being bong. And you probably know, and you probably seen that before on a streamer. I believe it's just the same here. It looks more complicated and there's more stuff, but um, yeah. Like once you learn the from OBS, you will really easy to connect the things you learned and boom. Alright, well yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm not gonna make this video long and that's all. Alright. Noot noot.